as his law practice continues here. These reactions have been written just a little differently, and we'll see what we can learn about that. Let's see if it breaks us or not. So we told you with thermochemical reactions that you can write the heat in line like this, like it's another chemical species. And if you do, then for endothermic reactions, you put the heat on the left. And for exos, you put it on the right. They've done that here, which is fine for lots of things, but it's not what we're used to using for Hess's law. So typically, when you get one of these problems and you're doing Hess's law, what you'll do is pull out these heats and write them as delta H's. So for this thing, off to the right, we would put delta H equals, is that 15 or negative 15? Sorry, I didn't mean to hide that. It's plus 15, not because it says it here, but because inline heats are always positive, but because the heat is written on the left side, meaning it's an ingredient, it's a reactant. It's something you must put in to make the reaction go. So this reaction is endothermic, and its delta H is plus 15 kilojoules. Reaction B, we have 286 kJ on the right, and that means that it's a product of the reaction that comes out. This reaction is exothermic. And we denote exothermic reactions by giving them a negative delta H. And C also produces heat, so that'll be negative as well. Delta H equals negative 173 kilojoules. Can you do Hess's law with inline heats? Absolutely. But I'm just keeping this like the other ones we've practiced. OK, so. Now that we've done this little fix, this looks like all the other problems we've practiced. Let's see if we can handle it. We need an N205, and we need it on the left. Uh, this is the only reaction that gives us N205, but it's on the right side, so flip reaction A. If you flip A, you get N205 on the left. We get an N2 plus. You could write this 5 over 2, but I'm actually a decimal fan myself, so 2.502 is fine with me. And that takes care of N205. We need an H2O on the left. And uh, the only place that's coming from is reaction B, so again, we must do a flip. Minus reaction B. H2O flips to the left side. H2 flips to the right side. 0.502 flips to the right side. OK, easy enough. And we need two hydrogen nitrate or nitric acid on the right. This is already on the right, so that's nice. But we need to double this whole reaction to get the coefficient we want. So we're going to say 2 times reaction C gives us 1 hydrogen. 2 times 0.5 gives 1 nitrogen. There. Oops. Sorry, there's three three left siders there. Oh boy. I might just have to fudge the location of the arrow here. Double this, you get 302 arrow, and then double the right side, and you get 2HNO3. So nitrogen cancels, hydrogen cancels. We have 3 oxygen on the left, and 2.5 plus 0.5 is 3 oxygens on the right. That's all very neat. So N2O5 plus H2O makes 2HNO3. That worked beautifully, like it, like we always hope it will. And for our delta H's, we flipped reaction A, so minus 15. We flipped reaction B, so we get positive 286. And we doubled reaction C, so we double this, which gives us minus 346. Ah, uh, is that minus 75? I think it's. Let the record show I think it's minus 75, but I'll calculate it so I don't mess it up. Huzzah, minus 75 kilojoules is the enthalpy of reaction.